Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is step by step guide for simulation of 1011 melee overlapping sequence director using Vivado tool. Myself Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, Anandi Pune. So in previous session we have gone through what is sequence director, uh, what are the different FSM that is melee and mood. Uh, we have gone through overlap and non overlap sequence director. Now here in this video, we will be seeing how to implement that in Vivado tool. So uh, over here, we have seen how to draw the state diagram, what is the concept behind sequence director and how to write a code as well as test bench for this sequence director. So same thing we will be implementing using tool. So have a look. So here we are having this Vivado tool, Vivado 2014.4, which I have opened here. Now, once that uh, tool is open, you need to create a project. So click here, next, give the name to the project. So I am giving the name as SD1011. You can give anything. I am giving SD sequence director 1011. It is detecting. So that's why it is given. Then you need to click on RTL project. Do not specify source edit this time. Next, you need to select your board. So in uh, our case, it is Arctic 7 board we are having. So Arctic 7 over here, package CAG324. That many pins we are having to that IC and this is dash 1. So this particular board we are having in our lab. Finish. Once that has been done, your project is getting created. So this is what is the process window. This is the uh, source window where you will be able to see how many uh, Verilog files related to test bench, XDC, Verilog code has been created. Operation on that will be happening over here. So these are the processes. This is the code window you will be writing. At this time, you are able to see the project summary and this is what is the error window you will be able to see. So I am clicking here, add source add or create design source next you'll be creating a file give the name so i'll be giving some name to this so it is coming as a module name to your verilog uh, code or verilog file you can give whatever input and outputs are there i'll be copy pasting the code that's why i'm not writing everything over here and this is what you are able to see this particular file is getting created so i'm clicking here so you'll be able to see some partial file is getting created now the code i have already told you and that code i'll be copy pasting so this is module and i'll be copy pasting this code so i told you there is one change in the code uh, over here so i'll be uh, showing that where i have made the changes so i'll be pasting it over here so in the second case that is when you are in b state next state is a has been written so you need to write b as per the state diagram you need to see and as per that only you need to write so once that has been done i am saving this file so as i have given name to this module as fsm underscore 1011 so you are able to see that is change so i have given previously sd but now it is fsm underscore 1011 so once that has been done, now you need to write a test bench. So there is no error present over here. If some errors are there after saving, you will be getting that highlighted over here. By clicking, you will be going ahead with the error. So add source. Now I need to create a test bench. So test bench, I am creating create file. I am writing TB over here. Okay. Finish. Again, you can give something like that but i'm copy pasting that's why i'll not be writing here so once that has been done you are able to see this tv is created now again i'll be copy pasting my particular code which i have shown you so this is what is the test bench we have written what is the meaning of test bench test bench is nothing but a code written for generating your stimulus or test vector so i'll be pasting that particular code here now for the more detail you can go through the previous video link of that will be uh, shared in the description box once that has been done now you are able to see this particular uut is getting linked to this particular test bench because i have given the name of my uut that is fsm 1011 in the test bench and that's why this is linked here if you are giving something different 
something different i have changed it and now i am saving it now it will not be linked to that it will be linked to a because you have written a and that a is not available verilog code a dot verilog code is not available and that's why it is showing question mark so this is very much important that while writing a test bench you have to clear early mention that which code you will be uh, using for this test bench so save now it is again linked to this now i'll be clicking on the test bench and then run simulation before that i'll be clicking on open elaborated design to see the rtl gate level netlist over here so wait a minute you'll be able to see gate level netlist how it will be looking in terms of gate so that is the uniqueness of this particular tool or hdl that it will be showing you a gate level netlist so this is this way it is getting implemented mux lut's that way you are uh, able to see the us circuit is getting implemented now once that has been done what i'll be doing i'll be clicking on source again test bench and i'll be going ahead with the run simulation now this is what simulation is running after some time you'll be able to see the waveform so which i have shown you earlier so here you can zoom it wait a minute so i'll be zooming this particular part so that it will be easy for you now you need to arrange this properly so temp i don't want that is the dummy variable for op i am i am having that op here so you need to arrange that particular thing in priority wise so reset is the first point so that is over there then clock and then input and then output and you are able to see your waveform so it is going to detect a sequence 1011 so when reset is 1 your circuit will be resetting and there will not be any output it is undefined because we have not defined anything inside the code so that again i have shown i have explained in the previous video now clock is over here positive edge of clock at that time reset is zero it will be working as your normal sequence detector so positive edge of clock it is getting first one so input is one over here you are able to see after that second clock pulse it is having zero as an input third clock pulse you are getting one as an input and fourth clock pulse this is the fourth clock pulse you are getting one again as an input and that's why one zero one one sequence is getting detected and that's why your output is one now just see if i am using this temp and temp is getting updated in your second always block so it is giving output one clock cycle ahead and that's why we have assigned that temp to the output. So I'm talking about this particular part. Let's see. I'm talking about this particular part over here. In this code, you are able to see as this particular temp is assigned here to op at positive h clock that's why it is properly giving you output at this particular point but if you are writing that time zero here and you are not writing that here then temp is getting updated one cycle before at this particular moment where only one zero one sequence is getting detected and for that reason we have given this op equal to temp in this particular always block where passage clock on the dependency of the passage clock for your output is going to update so this change we have done so this is what your sequence is getting detected one zero one one again one zero one one so here again sequence is getting detected again over here one zero one one again sequence is getting detected so hope this particular part is clear and how to go ahead with the simulation of very log that you have seen so thank you very much for the patience listening go through the pre previous video for the more details so thank you